Hi, John Rhodes here and welcome back. Big hello to all my subscribers and for those of you that have just found the channel, why not hit that little button now and subscribe. In this video presentation, I'm going to be looking at the root treatment of a maxillary right first molar. The tooth appeared to have a really curved mesobuccal root on the radiograph and I was anticipating a struggle getting down the mesobuccal canals. However, once I'd gained patency, the canals were not that curved, but there were three of them. I'll show you how I managed this. Hope you enjoy it. Here you can see the preoptive radiograph of the maxillary right first molar. The tooth was necrotic and needed root canal treatment. Looking at the preoptive radiograph, I thought that the mesiobuccal canals would take an acute curvature. These elbow-like curvatures can be very difficult to instrument. I've had to retreat many cases where the practitioner has come unstuck and instruments have separated at the point of the acute curvature. The amalgam restoration and caries have all been removed and we're now looking down into the pulp chamber. I used a split dam technique in this case with a wingless clamp on the distal molar so that I could restore the tooth without having to remove the rubber dam. Here you can see I'm using a Startex 3 to trough along the isthmus between the MB1 and MB2 canals. There's more work to do troughing along the isthmus and the lip of dentine that's overhanging the orifices of the canals needs to be removed. In this case, I'm using an LN burr. As we zoom in with the microscope, you can see that I'm still not quite there. There's a little bit more dentine to remove before the orifices will be uncovered. Because I thought that the mesiobuccal canals would have an acute curvature, I used a size 6 file to estimate the working length with an electronic apex locator. Here I'm using Wave 1 Gold instruments to taper the canal along my glide path which was open to a size 10 flexophile. In the mesiobuccal canals, I used the Wave 1 Gold Glider as an initial instrument just to confirm that glide path. Copious irrigation was carried out with 3% sodium hypochlorite throughout the instrumentation phase. I use a safe ended needle and keep it in motion so that the needle doesn't snag and there's no risk then of extrusion of irrigant. The four canals were all tapered to a primary Wave 1 Gold instrument and this was my finishing file. Having found four canals, I felt that preparation was complete and so I started my cone fit and in this case I'm using a bit of GP pumping to agitate the irrigant. Mm -hmm. 
I like to do a final check under high magnification of the pulp floor to make sure nothing has been missed. In this case, using a micro opener, I found an orifice of an MB3. I carried out coronal flaring using a ProTaper SX instrument. Having confirmed the working length of the MB3 with an electronic apex locator, it was rapidly tapered using Wave 1 Gold instruments. Here you can see in high magnification the MB1, 2 and 3. In this case I obturated the root canals using a bioceramic sealer, BioRoot RCS. I like to inject the material into the canals before placing the gutta percha cones as this proves to be less messy. The pre-measured cones are then inserted to their working length, seared off at the level of the pulp floor with an electric heater and plugged with a Mac 2 plugger. Here you can see the MB2 and MB3 being obturated. Excess sealer is washed away with a 3-in-1 syringe and in this case I fitted an auto matrix with some wedges prior to building a core in dual cure composite. So here you can see the preoperative radiograph again with what appeared to be a very curved MB canal and a failing amalgam restoration that had to be removed. The postoperative radiograph shows a good coronal apical seal and nice adaptation of the core material. Taking a view from a distal aspect really highlights the three MB canals nicely. 
Well, I do hope you enjoyed that presentation. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And above all, enjoy your endo.